G'day guys, um, today I'm going to roast some sulphides and um, see if I can um, release the gold from the sulphides as I've seen on, I've done it on previous videos but uh, anyway this is the crushed ore, the um, hematite that I've got and it's been crushed I've tried panning it and uh, there is gold in it but I'm going to roast it and tip it into cold water and um, that should um, once it hits the cold water it'll break the sulphides open and release more gold so that's the plan for today okay I'll get back to this once we get it all going There's the sulphides, they're heating up, they're roasting, and um, the smoke that's coming off is uh, it's the sulphides. Um, yeah, th there's a chemical reaction with them, but the, basically the sulphur has been burnt off the sulphides. As I said, that's hematite, um, crushed down hematite that I'm roasting. And once it's been roasted, um, it'll turn red. When it, when it goes red, it becomes an oxide. So it's a sulphide at the moment, then it becomes an oxide. And hematite is non-magnetic, but once it becomes a oxide, um, it, it becomes magnetic. Yeah, it changes the chemistry of the of the um, mineral. Anyway, I'll get back to you a bit later, boys and girls. Okay, the material's super hot now, so now I'm gonna just tip it into a bucket of water, and I've got more ma material there to um, process. And I'll just keep um, doing that till I've emptied that little bucket. Um, I just looked in the bucket, and that hot material that I tipped into the bucket of water has turned red, so it's changed to from a sulphide to an oxide. Okay, I'll get back to you guys. Okay, this is it. They're all, they've all been burnt off. All the sulphur's been burnt out out of the um, sulphides. If you look down in the bucket, I'm not sure if you can see it there, but there's a lot of gold coloured material on the top there. Um, I'm not saying it's all gold, but I hope it is. With the sun on it, you can see all that gold colour. Um, whether that's just the sulphides, I won't know until I start panning it out. Yeah. Anyway, that'll be next, guys. I'll set up the pan and um, some water and I'll pan it out. Okay, here we are. Some of the cons. There's all gold sparkly stuff in there, but it's not gold, it's um it's the pyrites. But anyway, we'll pan down and see if, see if we can get any gold. I'll 
keep all this material because I can um, run it across my melon tape. Just look, uh, just looks like um, priorities like mica. And I have got uh, detergent in this water, so. stop any gold from floating. Yeah, it just looks like fine gold, but I think it's just the um, pyrites. It's floating out of my pan anyway, so what pyrites would do. stuff there behaving like gold. I've got, I've got all this gold stuff floating around, I, I don't know what's what. But there's no, like, there's no big tail or anything in this stuff. Yeah. So. I'll run some more through and just see how I go. But it looks like fine gold in there. I've got all this other gold material, which I think is pyrites, all floating around in there in the mix too. So, anyway, I'll um, I'll carry on panning the rest of this out, and I'll let you know how I go at the end. Nothing to write home about, guys. Um, just uh, under the jeweler's loop, there's just all fine specks of gold in there. Um, the strange thing about it is, I can't see any specks of copper. So maybe that roasting is, um, I don't know, got rivet, I, I don't know what happened. Anyway, I'll, um, I'll do up some pictures um, through the microscope and you can see the small bits of gold. Yeah. Okay guys, thanks a lot for watching and I'll um, see you in the next one.